Hi, this is Indigo Moon Aussies with the Supernatural Litter. And today is Thursday, August 27th. We're having a little afternoon pool party. And yes, I'll tr this is Jojo. Um, she's a talker. She's in my lap. The rest of them are over there. Dean is the one jumping. Uh, he's the one that's got the mark on his head. That's Tessa right there coming towards the camera. She's coming to see me now. They love swimming. It's finally been some great weather for us. Mosquito-y, but nice. Some of them are hard to tell that they're, of course, they're all wet and muddy, but they're playing. They're having a great time. That was Joe that just came running up. Dean is the one with a little bit of white, no, Jojo. On his ear, he's chewing. Oh, he's getting a drink of Dad's soda. That was beautiful Meg in the pool. And Meg is spoken for. See, there they go. Let's go They're following him. <laughs> so we just have to, the camera just has to follow you, Daddy. <laughs> Their movement is really nice. They've got really great temperaments. Uh, each of them are a little bit different. Tessa's our loving sweetheart. That's Dean getting drenched. They look like drowned rats, Aussies, when they're wet. They're, oh, okay. Uh, Dean's our big brawny boy. Sammy is our herder. He herds uh, us in and out. That's Dean under the chair. He wasn't, he didn't appreciate the pool adventure. That's Abby. And of course, they're right at that stage where they're very leggy right now. There's Sammy. Sammy's getting ready now to go in. Yeah, Sammy's a talker too. Sammy and Joe are the talkers. Sammy's a sasser. He's really sweet, funny. He's laid back. Uh, he herds us in and out. He's kind of put himself in charge of everybody, so he herds everybody in and out. Um, Tessa's our little love doll. She'll sit in our lap. And, and usually at this age, that's not really typical, truthfully. And... I wanted to see if we could get a good shot of Abby's movement, so we'll try, but of course they're here to have fun. They don't really care about movement shots. That's Tessa right there. Tessa in the face. Um, I really, really like Tessa's looks. Now Tessa is the one standing kind of by herself right there. Yeah, never try to chase an Aussie. That doesn't work. But she's really really sweet natured. In the face she looks so much like Gypsy. She does have a little bit narrower muzzle which I prefer. Um, not snipey at all. And she's got um, quite a bit more bone. So um, this is Shady's first litter and it's always a little bit hard. You have to look back on your lineage and what you compare your puppy pictures. But I believe uh, the females especially uh, are going to be very, um, have quite a bit of bone like uh, Meg does and Abby certainly does. Oh, that's Tessa crying. Abby's in uh, here in my lap. Okay, that was, there's, there's Abby right there. She's really, she really self-stacks beautifully. Really all of them do. That's Dean, his movement's right on. He's a big brawny boy. When they're wet, it's kind of hard to tell, but he is big and brawny. And that is, right there is, Meg. that's Meg. Okay, that's what I thought. Meg and Sammy, other than, no, I'm not showing any of them. Let's see, okay, there's, Joe's the one with the white foot. So she's on top of the lawn chair. That's Dean jumping up. We call him Deanie Meanie, but he's not actually mean. Actually, he will lay on his belly 
and he likes to have all the other puppies attack him and then all of a sudden he busts out like Superman, like a superhero and uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's funny, it's like he plans it out and he'll lay there for, I don't know what the heck that was, that was from the neighbors I guess. They're all going to explore, they're all really confident, although at this age they do start barking and Oh, that was a bird. Sounded like somebody shot a bird. Is it okay? Somebody shot somebody shot a bird? Stop shooting birds. We're not bird killers. That's Joe sitting there in the corner. That's Abby right there. Beautiful white, flashy girl. Really, I really like everything about her. This is a hard age to judge them because they get leggy and then um, drop down, but you can see her head is just perfection. And look at her stance. So she's very flashy. She's got a great temperament. She's very outgoing, very bright. She's already learning look to get ready for the show ring. So, so on the leash, uh, most of them have done great in the crate, uh, not having any problems. The ones that are gone are doing all doing great in their new home and have adjusted very well. And there's baby Tessa. She has, she's a lap girl. Um, now she gets along great with the, with the other dogs, but she definitely would, would would flourish in a home where she got a lot of attention because she's she's not pesky she won't pester you for attention she'll just look at you with the pup, those puppy dog eyes now that's just wild knocking over my drink carrying on now that's craziness puppies that's just craziness no Joe ah, ah, ah. leave it Joe's a little ornery that's Joe. She's she's Henri. Aren't you Joe? She's full of personality. Hey, Sammy. So they all have their individual little quirks. There's big boy Dean. I mean, he's just a big hunkin' boy. That's all there is to it. And I don't really see um, some of Rico's offspring. It has outsized him in, in terms of height, not necessarily bone. Some have even a little bit more bone than Rico. And I, I think Rico and his son Shady are as close to what I want to achieve in perfection. Of course, no dog or bitch is perfect. But um, a few of the males have got it in a little taller than what I would have. I, I wouldn't not not that they're they're out of standard they're certainly not but if you're competing you know that that's Tessa coming towards us that they've downsized that's Joe there again um, Joe's kind of our our resident brat she loves attention she likes to sit in our lap she likes to be held she likes to be around us but she can be a little bratty so for people who like who who enjoy that challenge and that feistiness that they have. That's beautiful Abby. I mean, look at that stand, look at that neck. She's got that beautiful crest, that arch, beautiful shoulder layback, nice straight front, nice oval feet, and her head, as you can see, is just, I mean, really, it is perfection. And her ear set is great. At this age, when they're teething, their ears are very hard to judge because they go back and forth and a lot of people will glue at this age and I, I do I, I do glue I've, I've gone back and forth about does it work does it not work and I figure well it doesn't hurt so may as well so we're really pleased we still have a few available uh, I can tell you right now we've turned down homes um, the pups that we raise are not outside um, do they like to be outside and run? If you have a farm or acreage, absolutely. Are they meant to be just booted outside and that's where they spend their life? Especially if you have no, no job for them, you don't have cattle, you don't have ducks, you don't have chickens. No, 
So don't even bother to contact me because that seems to be the uh, going thing is people are looking for dogs that they just want to leave outside and I recommend a statue in that situation. Um, not one of my babies. These pups uh, are full of personality. Each of them uh, individual. Dean, now see, look at his um, growth plates there are huge and you can't really tell. I've tried to get pictures to really be able to show off what a big boy he is, but it just, you can't, the pictures don't tell it. But see, he's doing his thing. Now what he does is he gets where he gets them all to come and get on top of them and get barking at them and that's what they're all doing right now. Now this is Dean, okay? See how they're doing? And you would think, oh, they're the poor Dean, look what they're doing. But he's ruling, he's the alpha. And he's doing it because then he's he's gonna all of a sudden break free and go after all of them. The pack in action. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they do that outside our bedroom window at like three o'clock. See, he's playing like he's. They're all going after him, and he's acting as if he's defenseless, but he's going to, he's so much like his character. I know a lot of people just aren't familiar with the show, but um, it's, it's just very ironic. And I know when he gets his forever home, they'll probably change his name, and that's okay. He'll always be Dean to us, though. We'll, we'll never forget. Dean and his shenanigans, but yeah, we would we would prefer they not do that at like three o'clock. You know, we get up about four or four thirty. I do, and that extra hour uh, means a lot. So there's the group of them, and Shady threw a, a, a nice litter. the The blues are gone. Great homes, and they were gorgeous. And that's Abby stacked. Um, more or less a self-stack. It wasn't perfect, but I wouldn't expect it to be. But she has just got the automatic self-stacking down. She's definitely my pick bitch of the tries. No doubt about it. Um, I just really, really like everything about her. Uh, and I, I really like... My husband likes Meg. Now, he looks at things differently. He doesn't show. Uh, Dang it. You ornery little heathens. And Joe, Joe's cute, but I mean, sure, you could say she's show quality. She doesn't have any faults. The bites all look good. Looks like all scissors bites. Um, they, they're teething really badly, so you can't do a permanent judgment. I mean, you can, you can if they're really under or overshot. You can you can see that at this age, but uh, right now everyone looks scissors or sometimes in the front they'll look a little bit even when they're teething. But if you look at the side, at the incisors and you the canine teeth, you can usually tell and the jaw, you can usually tell. And my vet is really good too about being able to look at the jaw, which is what I look at. That's Dean again instigating it. And I, I have a friend of mine, uh, a couple, and they have one of Mira's kids, and they have one of Sonny's kids, believe it or not. And I may have to give them a call. Um, we have some someone else that uh, we were pretty, uh, we thought it was very likely they were going to take Dean, but the family's in a little bit of di disagreement as far as timing. So I think we're going to go ahead and move on with Dean and Sammy. And that is, that's Meg. That's his favorite. That's why he likes her. And she, she's a pretty girl. I mean, if you look at them, other than Joe with the foot, they're, they're all very flashy. Uh, Dean and Sammy, um, 
I'm going to pet those two out to a good pet home. I think they could be bred, but since it's Shady's first litter, I feel a little more confident. I, I can see already where the females are going to go. The males, I just know competitively for um, like performance, I might consider something like that. But in the show ring, I, I know that, you know, they want the stockier, shorter males, even though our standard explicitly says quality is not to be sacrificed for size, but um, you're hearing the truth here, folks. It is every single day in the ring. So now I've been singing this song, so before we say goodbye, again, Indigo Moon Aussies, the supernatural litter, and they're ready for their new homes now. So they're pretty much ready to go at any time to, hey, 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 you want mommy to sing? Carry on my, hey, you can't hear me. Carry on my wayward son. They're not going to listen. Dean, Dean's got him. That's, that's what's going on there. He's got them all because he's so tough. Let me stand up. Ouch. I have some joint issues, so if I seem like it's, it's not that I don't want to get up, it's just a little bit difficult for me. But that's Dean. And that's Tessa. Dean! Seriously, you're a filthy. Look at Abby, the showgirl. She's a mess, they'll dry off. That's okay. That's what that's what it's all about. We appreciate you watching. I'm gonna try to get some uh, still shots if they'll hold still, and Dean will stop disrupting the crowd here. Okay, Indigo Moon Aussies, thanks for watching. <laughs>